Hi everybody, Audra here, your Twisted Chalker with Odds and Ends Boutique. And um, I'm coming back to you tonight with the last 4th of July creation I wanted to do. Well, um, I probably shouldn't say the last. Um, I might do more. Just depends. But this is the last um, transfer I have left that I haven't done yet. I've used a little bit of it. I used the 4th of July and I used the USA on a couple other items that I created, but um, I haven't used the whole thing. So tonight I want to use the entire subway and I'm going to put it on this frame that I have created, well, I painted on, chalked on uh, in a previous video and I'm going to show how we can clean it up and reuse this frame for something different. All right, so. Um, this is my distilled water that I use for the paste when I need it, so I'm going to use my regular water. And since it's been on there for a little while, I'm just going to dampen it a little bit with some water. And then, let's see if I can do it with just paper towel. And as you can see, it's just coming right off. This is great if you if you were to um, want to redecorate your home in an in, in an inexpensive manner. You could purchase frames and um, chalkboards and such that will that could allow you to do this. And a lot of the surfaces at Magnolia Design Company are designed for that. Um, and it's great. I mean, you just make one purchase and you can... Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try this um, non-sanitizing wipe. That makes it a little easier. Moisture. The moisture is what... what um, it's what... The, blah, blah. Okay, I'm really having trouble talking tonight. <laughs> The chalk paste is water soluble, so just getting it a little wet enables you to clean it all off. So I purchased this frame one time, and should I choose to do so, I can use it for every holiday of the year, for that matter. Um, just by washing it off and putting on a new design. So. See how easy it's coming off. Okay. If you like, um, you can check out the different surfaces that Magnolia Design offers on my website. The link is in the description below. You can just click on it, or if you're watching on Facebook, you could click on the Shop Now button. I'm not even talking, I've got it on my hands. <laughs> and that's okay. Because <laughs> it comes off pretty easily. What I'm learning doesn't come off very easily is. Um, The stuff that I used, oh my goodness, I'm on a roll tonight. The stuff that I used before I painted on it. <laughs> I'll think of it. Anyway. All right. Brand new board to start with. Okay. So. I want to make sure I'm doing this the right way, and this is going to be a sideways one. So I'm going to put the hanging thing on the top. I never did hang this the last time. I just kind of set it on the table and looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. Um, I was trying to decide if I wanted to seal it and put it in my booth, but I chose not to at the time. I'm kind of glad I did, because now I could do this and show you how it works to reuse things and not have to rebuy every time. So this has been used a little bit over the weekend, over the past few days. 
but I'm still going to fuzz it because of the type of surface I have here. Now, to work the air bubbles out, I am going to start in the center and work my way toward the edge. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it crackling. Kind of doing the whole snap, crack, pop thing. We definitely don't want that when we're chalking. Because that means you have air bubbles, and when you have air bubbles, chalk paste will run into places that you don't want it to run. So, you saw on the um, Fruits of the Spirit all the colors that I had on there. Tonight I'm going to stick with the red, white, and blue theme. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I stick with the red, white, and blue theme, and I think I want to do majority of it white, so that it will pop really nicely in this frame. Oh, I just heard a crackle while I'm doing this. Sometimes it helps. Okay, I'm satisfied now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a majority of it white. Um, I'm almost out, so I opened a new one. And I'm going to do just a couple things, like I'm going to do, I don't know, I might do the red, in red. Hmm, this is going to be fun. They're pretty close together. to glob it on a little thick right now so that it doesn't dry too quickly while I'm trying to finish this. I want to do, I think I'm going to do, um, I should have thought this through because now that it's out here, I want to do Freedom in Red. to do the word blue in blue. I already stirred up the paste before I started recording just to kind of save time because I don't want these videos to last too long because I know everybody is busy nowadays and I don't want to take up too much of your time watching me do this when you really could be doing it yourself. So I won't keep you too long, so you can go and get what you need, 
and try this out yourself. Speaking of which, if you would like to try without buying first, just let me know. I, um, I do offer sample kits for people who would like to try. If you just message me, um, you can email me. My email's in the description or you can private message me on Facebook. Let me know you're interested in the sample kit and give, it, give me your mailing address and I will send it to you. No obligation to you. Okay, so that's the blue. And now, for the white. Let's see how fast I can get this done. Since I just basically want to do the rest of it in the white. It just looks so nice and crisp, especially with the black background. are a little close. I am globbing it on pretty thick, if you noticed. I'm trying not to let it dry before I can get it finished. So I figured the thicker I put it, the better chances I have of finishing in time. If not, I could probably just moisten it a little bit. I will peel it off really slow to be sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, up here. Do the stars. Catch the star. <laughs> Oh, I landed on the transfer. Yay! I don't have to try to clean it up. <laughs> okay. One last section. And then I will try to scrape away as much excess as I can can before I peel this up because I don't want to just leave it all globbed on there. If I leave it all globbed on there it will just appear all globbed on when I take the transfer off. So um, let me clean this a little bit. love it when the whole thing comes out instead of just one because then you get a whole pile of them okay scrape off the excess put it back in the jar I kind of feel like I'm never going to empty this jar 
because I just keep putting it back. Mm -hmm. I see a spot here. Ah, perfect. So a spot there. Perfect. I should have started scraping the red and the blue first because they've been sitting longer. Okay, one last one here, I think. This one's not as strong. Here we go. Oh, I just got it on the frame. That's okay. I'll wash it off. This is going to be a little tough. I may have to moisten that a little bit. It looks pretty dry. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Okay, so I know about the, I've heard about this technique. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it today. So I dampened the paper towel. I don't know if this is even the right way to do it. Um, I'm just trying to add a little moisture. Probably the idea is to, no, I don't wanna mix the colors. Okay, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to start peeling. too much water. So the red, as you can see, the D got pretty dry. So I'm going to moisten it a little bit. Get some of it on there. I can touch it up.
I moistened an area and I think I completely missed the spot that I actually wanted to do. <laughs> but that's okay because I have a plan. All right. So, here's what we have so far. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a minute to rinse this uh, in cool to lukewarm water. I have, um, oh, I don't have it with me, but we have uh, wipes to help. There's like, it's like a sponge that helps to clean it off. That's going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause you for just a moment. Okay, so I'm back, and I am going to dry this up a little bit, and then do a little bit of touch-up, and just show you how easy it is to fix it if it doesn't come out the way you want it. I am extremely particular about my finished product, and so there are some areas that I'm seeing that I want to touch up and clean up before I decide whether I want to keep this or not. <laughs> well, I should say whether I decide if it's beef worthy or not. And I'm thinking about embellishing a little bit with some ribbon on the frame. I think it would be cute, maybe. I don't know if it would be overkill. We'll see. So, I need to wipe glue off of the frame. That would be the first step. And it's as easy as that. A little bit of white over here and I'm just going to wipe that off as well. Boy. I must have been slopping it everywhere. <laughs> okay. And that's done. I'm going to do this a little bit longer. Because if I'm putting my hands on it, I don't want to rub it off. Now, I'm going to start from this side and work my way there. How much time have I been doing this for you? 22 minutes. Okay, so I'll show you a couple things. Best investment for these projects. One of these. Well, I should say best. <laughs> Fantastic investment. One moment, please. Good guarding the house. Anyway, um, the one I've been using the most is this teeny, where are you? Teeny, teeny tiny little brush. So I'm going to use that to touch up some areas. Um, like this white down here. But I also am going to need my manicure sticks, my handy dandy manicure sticks. I love these because they have the point and they have the flat side. I don't know if you can see that. And with a uh, surface like this, now that it's all dry, if I see areas that have extra paint that I don't think should be there, this will scrape it off really easy. But I'm not seeing anything that's just cray cray. So that's a good thing. But I am going to take a piece of my wet wipe, wrap it on the flat end, get it as small as I can get it, because I want to clean up in the D. Inside the H, there's a little bit of bleeding, so I am going to <sighs> scrape it off. <sighs> okay, the D, I want to fix my D. I'm 
going to use a little bit bigger brush than that teeny tiny one. So I'm going to use this one. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to just give it a little bit of chunk. Most of the time, I don't have to do this, but for this particular frame, I seem to struggle. Um, anytime I do anything on here, it could be the surface just isn't 100% compatible, I don't know. But Too big, I think. I'll use the tiny one. Teeny tiny one. And I'm just dabbing it. I'm not trying to do a beautiful, perfect stroke. I'm just wanting to fill it in. So. Dabbing it in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Freedom. My M. I'm struggling because my eyes, <laughs> they don't want to work very well. So I'm having a hard time seeing. I may have to increase my glasses. We're in the same number for quite a while now, and maybe it's time to get a stronger, stronger one. I can see the picture like this, but when I look down there, get closer, it just becomes a big old mess. All right, let's see. I want to fill that in a little bit. So I'm going to get a different, instead of trying to wash this one and reuse it, I'm going to get my other one. That way I don't end up with pink by accident. Just dab a little white. Whoops. I guess it would help if I had some white on there. There we go. Dab the spot. It's a big old blob. There we go. Just a tiny bit. And I want to put a little bit right here. Because I've had trouble on the corner and the edges. I don't know if you saw that or if that was out of camera, but I almost dropped this paintbrush that's got a good amount of chalk on it on the board. No telling where it would have landed. And it probably would have made a mess. But I am used to messes because that's me. Put 
a little bit of red right here on the E. Again, I am extremely, extremely particular. And um, if I'm not happy with this patch up job that I'm doing, which I rarely ever have to do, um, I'll start over. That's the nice thing about this, you can start over. Brushes. Oh, I'll just set them in the water. Nope. nope. Stay in there, please. Nope. Stay in there, please. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that. There we go. All right. My handy dandy manicure stick. I go out just a little bit too much on the S. it more and more. I think the longer I look at it, the more I'll see that I think shouldn't be there, but I could just be missing um, how the transfer actually looks, and I'd hate to Undo it. Here we go. USA, 4th of July, celebrate, friends. Dab on the D a little bit. Stripes white. Perfect. Now I'm happy. So, I'm going to. I don't remember where 